It's Christmas time again, and we all have our traditions. And one of the traditions that I had growing up was my mom would make divinity, and she made the best divinity. It was always smooth and puffy. I mean, occasionally it would fail, but for the most part, she was really popular around the neighborhood for making great divinity. So I found a recipe card, and I thought, this must be it. So I typed it out and made it. But she says she uses the Betty Crocker recipe. This is how it turned out. Now it may be because I live in a different climate or maybe it's because I didn't mix it long enough or there's a number of things that I could have done wrong. But this is kind of gummy and nougaty and I know this is not how divinity is supposed to be made. So I'm gonna try it again using the Betty Crocker recipe. Let's see how it goes. Just make sure when you make divinity, you do it on a day that's not humid or your divinity will fail. Hey, get out of the tree. My cat's making another cameo in my video. What can I say? So this is the plan. Two and two thirds cup sugar, two thirds cup white corn syrup, a scant half cup of water, and then two egg whites. And we're going to whip those egg whites up and they're at room temperature. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. All right, here we go. Adding the sugar, the two thirds corn syrup, half a cup of water minus one tablespoon, just in case it's humid. Stir it up. Wipe down the sides with a wet paper towel because you don't want the sugar crystals to form. Now let that simmer without stirring it. Whip up two egg whites. Blend the egg whites on high until stiff peaks form. The recipe says to cook it to 250 degrees, but I cooked it to 270 degrees. Okay, we're gonna test this and see if it's a hard ball. Put it in some cold water. You want this to be a hard ball stage, but you want these threads to form. Re-whip the egg whites and then slowly start adding the sugar. See how the sugar makes these strings, these threads? That's when you know the sugar is ready. So I think the key to making divinity is to make sure that the syrup is at the right temperature and that you blend it in very slowly, like a very slow, steady stream as the egg whites are being blended. Another tip is to pay attention to the consistency of the divinity because you want to blend it to where it's not really glossy but at the same time, if you blend it too much, then it gets thick too fast. So stop it now and then and keep checking to see the consistency. All right, it looks pretty thick to me. We're gonna try it. It's holding its shape. Yay. All right, I gotta move fast. I don't have time to talk. Now I think it's good have a friend help you, somebody help you so you don't have to go crazy fast. I forgot to add the vanilla, it's all right. I was too busy worried about the temperature, but that's okay. This still won't taste good. You could also add almond extract. I can already tell this is working, but I gotta go fast. Looks good. Now if you want to, you can put pecans or walnuts in them. I don't really like to put nuts in them, but I'm gonna put nut, a nut in this one right there. Boop, boop, boop.
Now I put a few almonds in these. I mean, I don't really like, oh, what's this? What's that? That's a pecan. I don't really like having nuts in my divinity, but I put a few in there just to show you. Mm-hmm. It tastes like my mom now. Thank you. That's great. Kind of fascinated by this big blob stuck in the blender. But um, these turned out really good. Look. They're nice and smooth and billowy. The first ones always look better than the last ones. These these are the ones at first. I mean, you have to move really fast when you're doing this, especially if you're doing it alone. So the first ones look more smooth, and then the last ones are a little bit more jaggedy, but they taste the same. All right, let's break it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. I'm doing it one-handed. All right, it's not stretchy like the other. See, it's nice and billowy and soft. Well, see how it tastes. It's not gummy. Mm hmm It's good. It's not like my other kind. I'm sure it's a failure. I would say this recipe makes about three dozen, depending on the size, and store them in a sealed container. I tried to cover everything that made my second batch a success, because my first batch was a failure. So I hope it helps if you're making divinity. Thanks for watching.